Hi, my name is Luke Chow, and I am the senior manager of M31 IO Design Team. Today, we are here to introduce M31's latest OnFi interface IP, IO for OnFi 5.0 and beyond. OnFi, which stands for Open Name Fresh Interface, is used for the data bus connection between the controller and NAND Fresh in SSD. NAND based SSD has been widely used in the consumer products due to its outstanding performance and slight cost difference compared to hard drives. Regarding the OnV evolution history, starting in 2010, OnV 2.0 had a transfer rate of 200 megabyte per second. And in 2021, OnV 5.0 reached 2.4 gigabyte per second. This year, in 2022, on V5.1 even rise the bandwidth up to 3.2 GB per second. The demand for on V bandwidth has grown rapidly over the past decade. Higher speeds brings better performance, but also comes with a number of challenges as well. To increase the data bus speed is not just about increasing the frequency. When the data bus speed goes high, in order to make valid data window as wide as possible, the through rate of the signal also needs to be increased. When the rise time becomes shorter, there will be some non-ideal effects come out to distort the signal. Impedance mismatch, crosstalk, high frequency loss, and power noise are the sources of these non-ideal effects. We summarize these non-ideal effects into a simple term, PISI, which stands for power integrity and signal integrity. To solve these problems, the ONV spec has made some changes to the signal interface and fast topology. ONV 2.0, NVDDR use unterminated topology. ONV 3.0 to ONV 4.2, NVDDR 2.3 recommends the use of CTT for better SI. Since CTT consumes much more power than unterminated schemes, most of the users don't prefer CTT. However, when signal bus speed increases to 1.2 gig, the antimedic topology will start to distort the signal waveform. This causes errors when receiving data on the receiver side. On V5, MVLPDDR4 comes with a new signal interface and topology. It takes care of signal integrity and power with LTT. Another PISI improvement and power saving techniques was introduced, data bus inversion, abbreviated as DBI. Since only logic one data consumes power, DBI applies an algorithm that if more than five logic one are transmitted in the same byte, DBI becomes logic one and inverts the entire byte. Changing from CTT to LTT, at the same terabyte speed results in a 45% power saving. Associated with DBI enable another 10% power savings, this means that LTT plus DBI, a 65% power reduction from CTT. Another benefit of DBI is the improvement of PI noise. We are not only provide I.O., but can also help with pet sequence arrangement, bumper arrangement, and subtract routing suggestions. We also provide decoupling capacitor cells, which can be easily combined with the I.O. to minimize AC noise on the power net. After subtract design done, we can simulate it on the I.O. performance with extracted model. PISI result can be optimized on-chip and off-chip. On-chip is to add decoupling cap. Off-chip is to optimize subtract design. Consider together, and optimized box can make space quality with lowest cost. M31 on ONV 5.0 I.O. It is not only to provide a single I.O. that works at this speed, but a total solution that makes our customers' product more successful. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact us with any questions you may have and follow our Facebook and LinkedIn below. See you soon. Goodbye.